We have made it to Pavones. This town is a little surf town. It's on the Pacific side, almost at the border of Panama. This is the place with the second longest left breaking waves that exist in the world. So this place is really unique. We've got very few people that actually come out here because it's so difficult to get to. We had to drive through potholes for about an hour. It was like bridges where it had no rails on it. It was literally just some pieces of wood and you have to drive over that. So it was a long drive. It was quite exhausting. We got here last night. We are rained in. There's no escaping us. No way out. This place is remote, right? So there's no ATMs here, no gas stations out here. If you want to come here to travel, get gas before you get here and fill it up because there's no place for you to find any gas over here. It's a bit tricky getting in the water because there's so many rocks there, especially if you're holding a board and the waves are kind of crashing. But there is one spot right over here where there's a sandy part. People have actually put sticks in the ground to mark that spot and the waves are really gentle and nice out here one thing that i noticed immediately about this place is the friendliness of the people we just got here last night and we've already made friends when you're at breakfast here you get into conversations with different people when you're driving your car everybody waves as they pass by because it's such a small town everyone kind of speaks with everybody and it's easy to get into conversations with people people are very open and very friendly out here <laughs> I managed to within 24 hours my phone broke it dropped on the rocks when I got out of the beach surfing and the next morning when I went surfing I took my GoPro with me and the cord ripped so I lost my GoPro I lost the footage of surfing the night before and I've just been trying to figure out how to survive without a phone in a different place like I have Summer with me thank God and she's got Google Maps we're just gonna stick together the worst part is that the GoPro is gone because I want to shoot footage of surfing and the craziest part was yesterday we went to a beach where the waves were perfect. I rode the best waves of my life and I wasn't able to capture it on film. So it's quite frustrating and there's no place to fix your screen. There's no stores to buy a new GoPro. So it's been kind of rough and like disappointing and I wanna be like capturing these moments because they're so beautiful. It's so, so beautiful out here. This has been like the best surfing experience that I ever had and it's just a shame that I can't share it with you guys. So we'll do the best that we can and I'll try to share as much as I can, but it's gonna be a little bit different. We are gonna head out and meet up with Summer's surf instructor from yesterday. His name is Jose, by the way. He's really, really good. If you're ever in town, he was a professional surfer when he was younger and he does lessons now. So he's really good. He knows what he's doing. He got Summer to stand up a million times on the board. This girl turned into a pro yesterday. It was incredible. Like I've never seen somebody learn that fast. Nest of turtles? Yeah. You put them here? Yeah, here. You made a pond. A lot of people go the big and take for eat and in. sell, you know? But uh, the people go find and take care of here better. What was in your heart? What became the passion for you, you to get involved? Para hacer lo que usted hace. Que lo que usted siente en su corazón de la pasión. Yo siento una gran satisfacción de poder eh, eh, ayudar Al, a la naturaleza. Yeah. Por mí ha pasado miles de tortugas yeah, he, baby, por mi mano. Miles. Awesome. Thousand a thousand turtles. In his hands. In his hands. Wow. So was there a problem at one time where the turtles were not able to hatch and go back into the ocean? Por ejemplo, el, el hombre está número uno. Number one. Como primer problema. Segundo yeah, problema. The, the people. The predation. Number one problem the is hombre. Because they steal the eggs. Segundo lugar, eh, la naturaleza, el, el mar. Nature. Si hay oleadas grandes, la arena se va y se van los huevos. So, the, the wave is big. Yeah, they big waves. They come in and they take so, all the eggs outside. Okay. Vamos a contar. You want to count it? Vamos a marcar el código. Marking. Eh, fecha. La hora. 
The turtles, they'll be back in about 150 years because they remember where they were born. They will be back on the same beach. The same beach. Same beach, beach right here. To, where to, they were deposited. To lay their eggs. I just went for to lay their eggs. It's crazy being around these little turtles because there's like so much life in this bucket. They're going to become really, really old, and it's like you can see all of the potential right here. So cute. I want to cry right now. Oh it's amazing. He's already swimming away. He's going. He's going. Mine is calm. Mine is calm. If they need the moonlight when you set them free. You don't set them free now? Wow. Vamos a ponerla al suelo para que ellos puedan caminar y hacen reconocimiento de playa. Okay. Vamos a esperar un poco que la ola se va para que tenga espacio para caminar. Okay. Un momento. This has been the sweetest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. These waves are huge compared to them. They are fighting hard and they are so, so cute. I hope they all make it. According to summer surf instructor, he said that because the current is so strong at this beach, which it really is, it will just be spit out over here somewhere. He was saying that he thinks the camera is like stuck between the rocks. There's a lot of rocks. Summer's gonna fly her drone around, get a little bit of extra views, basically. So yeah, wish me luck. back from searching and I couldn't find it no chance so now I've lost summer as well I need to go find her I am just gonna call it a day and accept the loss it's just a camera I'll find a new one I'm done being sad about this as well and traveling is like this you just get hit with unexpected surprises along the way anyways now I need to go find summer hope she's not too far away we are on our way out of Pavones. We are on the road right now, leaving town. The next stop is gonna be Cuacobado National Park. We're gonna do a hike there. I had a last surf session in Pavones today. Now we are just grabbing a coffee and we're gonna continue to the national park. The surfing in Pavones is absolutely amazing. There's no crowd. There was like four of us in the water and it is just like the most beautiful place to surf. I love it there. And you can just continue going left for the longest time. You get like the longest rides of your life out there. It will like take you from one end of the beach all the way to the other and it just breaks perfectly. It's like the, the best spot that I've ever surfed at. It's definitely a place I'm gonna come back to. Wish we would've had a bit more time there, but the jungle awaits. So we're gonna see what happens there. It should be nice as well. So I'm looking forward to going someplace different and checking out Corcovado next. Time.